Hello! Today I wanted to share with you where you can get nice free textures for your Blender projects, and once we get them, how to combine them really quickly into a nice PBR material, and once we've created the material, how to add that material to an asset library. So what we can do here is build up a library of a whole bunch of really nice materials that we can just drag and drop into projects whenever we need them. Before we get too deep into it, I wanted to share one of the more useful things I've created, which is this pack of seamless looping smoke assets. And these are all videos that you can stick into your Blender files, and it's a lot faster than actually trying to simulate smoke. But with that out of the way, let's take a look here at some good places to find textures. So first up, we've got public domain textures. These are CC0 and there's a nice little library here, just looking through. We've got the different categories that you could go for, and you can see here in each different category, we've got a few nice options for textures. And it looks like this can go up to 8K, which is pretty big. That's pretty nice. Now this seems like a pretty small library, so if they don't have what you're looking for here, we can move over to the next good place to find textures, which is Ambient CG. And these are also CC0, so that's pretty nice. If we take a look here and explore, you can see this looks like there's quite a few more options, which is pretty nice. And these have similar options. We could actually go all the way up to 16K, which is ridiculous. But <laughs> if that's what you're down for, there you go. I'm going to see if I can find some nice rough planks. Okay, looks like there's some good options. I like the look of most of these, honestly. Let's go for something like this, I reckon would be pretty good kind of outdoorsy. Normally I do PNG, but let's just save some space here and get the 4K JPEGs, and that's going to download. And while that downloads, let's hop over to the next website that is a good place to get textures, and that is Polyhaven. So on this website, they also have HDRIs and models, which is pretty cool, but we're going to browse the textures here. And this website has a really cool feature that the other ones do not have. So as you can see up here, you can actually download a blend file with your textures, and that comes with the material pre-made, which is really nice, and it will save you a huge amount of time. So I'm just gonna download this here. Okay, here I am in a blender scene, and first of all, let's see if we can build a texture real quick. We've got this cube here, and I'm gonna split our view and go to the shader editor, and let's just select this principled node with the Node Wrangler add-on enabled. We can actually go Control, Shift, and T, and search up our textures that we just saved. So if I go to my textures folder here and look at modification date, then we've got the most recent ones here. I'm gonna grab my wood siding folder and let's just take a look here. I'm gonna grab a normal map and holding shift, let's get the roughness and color. We could get the metalness maybe, don't need the ambient occlusion. And if we want, we could get the displacement as well. And now if you press this button that says principal texture set, you can see everything goes in nicely, immediately and quickly into our principal node. And this is a feature I've just recently come across and I think it's absolutely fantastic. You don't have to spend a bunch of time plugging in each individual texture. So that is a real time saver. Cool. So we've got our cube here now with our new material that we've just created. Let's make sure we name this something that is kind of relevant. I'm just going to call it wood siding. So now with our material created, let's go into the material settings here and I'm going to right click on this slot and I'm going to mark it as an asset and that'll come in handy later when we want that to be in our asset collection. And I'm just going to save this blend file out into the folder where those textures were, so wood siding. And now with this file saved, I'm going to go to the other folder I saved out and this is the folder that contains the roof tiles texture that I got from Polyhaven. And you can see here, there's a blend file in that folder. And if we just open this up, we can see our roof tiles are rendering out as an object here. And the cool thing about this is we don't even need to set up our material because it's already set up for us, which saves us even more time. So I'm gonna right click on this guy here and mark this as an asset as well. Let's make sure we save our file. And now in a new Blender scene, let's see if we can apply these. So just as some setup work, you can see in my edit preferences, I've gone down to file paths and added an asset library to be my textures folder. And that folder contains the two Blender files that I just saved out. So now if we split a window and open up the asset browser here and switch it from current file to our textures library, yep, we've got wood siding here. 
and we've got roof tiles here. So now let's take a look at this. I'm rendering an EV, so if we render this, let's just see what happens if we drag our tiles on top of our roof. Hey, that's not bad. And we can do that with the other roof as well. Pretty cool. So these might need some adjusting of the UVs, possibly some fine tuning of the material, but it's not looking terrible at the moment. And we can also grab our wood siding and just slather it all over the walls <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah, it's looking pretty decent. We can just do that with these ones as well. Nice. So now we've really quickly created some textures and just slapped them all over these buildings. Oops, we missed some sides. And that is a ridiculously fast process to get this nice result here. So once again, if you're interested in grabbing those free smoke assets, there's a link in the description to that. But other than that, I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!